All right, we're out here going on a hike. What's the plan, Riley? Not freeze to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be chilly. Middle of winter, got a mile or maybe a couple miles to go up here, up in this basin. Pretty cool spot, so we'll see how it goes. Just gonna do a one-nighter. probably just gonna I know this flat spot is right there on that flat mountain and the trail pretty packed down so I think we'll make it we're just gonna the trail goes right up to the base of that and around the backside and then we'll have to snowshoe like a half mile up pretty steep probably steeper than this but we'll make it and then you get up on top it's just flat and has a dude the view is amazing you can see all of Logan Canyon and then you can see all the way back into that other canyon and it's pretty sweet so hopefully we'll make it that far good so far got a nice little trail here that the skiers have packed down for us so we're cruising right now it's getting warm the sun's out but having a good time well we've gained a bunch of elevation way up here yeah the trail's getting a little bit squishier so we're gonna throw some snowshoes on and find a campsite like 3.15, sun sets at about 5.30, so I got just a couple hours to get camp set up and get ready for the night. I kind of want to get set up before it gets dark. That way we're not setting up in the dark. So, how you feeling, Riley? Super. Great. Super good. We're like, Skittle time. Here's our stats. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Nice. Yeah. The trail's been pretty good. Um, we're a little slower than it would be if it was dry, but we're not slowed down a ton. It's been pretty easy walking, all things considered, so we'll see how far we make it. Um, I have a spot in mind to camp, but we're just gonna find the first spot we find. That if there's some dead wood somewhere, we'll call it good because we got the wood stove and the teepee. But if we can't find any dead wood, we'll just go without. TikTok. That's all about making a TikTok. <laughs> Made it to camp. Gonna pack down a nice spot here, set up the tents, eat some food, watch the sunset. It's gonna be great. So, the snow's not quite as hard as we'd want for dead man anchors, so instead of using this little stake, we're gonna bury a big old trekking pole on the corner here. All right, we got the tent up, got the fire going. 
Gonna make some dinner now. Oh yeah, stay warm. What do you got for best dinner? Best way. Some bison ranch masher is the best. That's the best one right there. Got the fire. We're letting all our heat out, but Riley's coming soon, so that's why. Got a sick view right out there. We're just complaining about you. All right, I get it. You're welcome. Well, it's getting dark. We're about ready for bed. It's kind of foggy now, but got all the tents set up. The fire's ripping. It's gonna be a good night. You ready? For what? I don't know. It's only like six o'clock. You're right. It's actually pretty early, but it's getting too dark to film. So yeah. we're going to bed soon. Well, good morning. Raiden, how'd you sleep? I slept good. Me too. That was actually pretty warm. Yeah. Last night. We're gonna get a little fire going. I gotta pee. That's why I'm here. <laughs> so, it's been fun. Alright, we're just taking down camp. Raiden's getting the stove set back down. We're getting all the Anchors that we made pulled up. Is that good? system like for this hunt or this this hunt <laughs> this trip <laughs> perfect so i just have a kelvin down hoodie on and basically this is just when i'm standing because i'll start to sweat immediately if i don't and then i got a stone glacier helio hoodie on um a kelvin active um it's like a i call it the billa check because it's got cut off sleeves um it's for archery and then i just got a lightweight uh core hoodie like always and then on my bottom layers, I have my um, dew point pants on for just waterproof. And then I have some cool renegade pants on. And then under those, I just have some Kuyu zip off thermos. I got some Stone Glacier um, gaiters on, uh, Hanwag Alverstone boots. And then I have a mix of Smart Wool and Darn Tough socks. And then some Traverse gloves from Sitka. How were you staying? Staying warm? Stayed warm. Sleep right. bag did its trick, so it was good. Heck yeah. Riley, what's your layering system? Um, we'll start at the base layers. Let me strip for you. I know this is how the video is going to make a little bit of money for this, so <laughs> so pay attention. Um, base layers, the Kuyu Gila hoodie. It's just lightweight polyester. It really keeps the moisture off my body. And I've got an Outdoor Vitals Ventus hoodie. It's like an active synthetic insulation. And then I got a QU Super Down vest. And then I've got a Stone Glacier Grumman coat. I guess it's a jacket, but it's warm as a coat. Um, for my bottom layers, so I hiked in just wearing these zip off synthetic zip off uh, leggings and then with some rain pants. But then when I got to camp, I put these puffy pants on. They're just the first light puffy pants. I've had them for quite a few years. They hold up pretty good. Um, and then for socks, I'm just wearing some smart wools and then a bread bag vapor barrier system that I'm testing out. Um, I don't know if my feet are any warmer or colder with the bread bags, but I was pretty impressed because I hiked in with some darn tough, just like lightweight hiker socks, and they were like pretty wet. And I took them off when we got to camp last night and put the new socks on, and I was toasty warm. So I think all in all, the layering system was pretty damn good. I've also got a rain jacket um, if I needed a shell, but I didn't need it, so. Okay, so for my layering system, um, at the base, I have the merino wool from Stone Glacier, and then running the ambient hoodie 
from Sitka as like an active insulation layer. And on top of that, this is the Kelvin Aerolite. It's the synthetic puffy that Sitka makes. I also brought with me the down puffy, but I think I've put it on once. I haven't really needed it, which has been nice. Um, and then for the pants, I'm, I have got the zip off um, puffy from Sitka, which are freaking awesome. And they're only the three quarter ones, so I can have my gaiters and still walk around with the puffies on, which is pretty sweet. And then the dew point rain pant from Sitka. And then under that, I've just got the, the Kuyu zip off leggings, which are super slick, because you can zip them off if you need to. Um, and the reason that when we're hiking in the snow like this, that we're not wear most of us aren't wearing like normal pants. Um, when you have these uh, base layer underneath rain pants, um, that base layer kind of keeps you warm, and then that rain pant just keeps you dry. So you can kind of zip off that, that rain pant if you're starting to get too warm and kind of air out and then zip it up and, and you stay dry and you stay warm. So that's pretty much it. And then for socks, just the some darn tough, some heavyweight socks underneath my boots. Um, and Reminder, this is how this video makes some money. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Cut. <laughs> Good. Oh. That was fun. Made it back to the car. Good little trip. <laughs>